Let's put things right, X-Man United assistant Carlo Squares reveals truth behind Fergie and Beck's flying boot. Sir Alex Ferguson's former number two Carlo Squares has revealed the truth behind the infamous flying boot clash with David Beckham. The legendary Manchester United manager clashed with golden balls on several occasions but the best remembered is undoubtedly the Battle of February 2003. United lost 2-0 to bitter rivals Arsenal in the FA Cup fifth round and Fergie was not happy after the game. Ryan Giggs missed a sitter when it was still 0-0, but Bex was the one who was the main subject of Fergie's ire. The Scot let rip at the England legend before kicking a stray boot in his direction which struck him in the face. Bex needed stitches and was seen sporting butterfly strips over the eyebrow wound in the days after, but Portuguese coach Queres says all was not quite as it seemed. He told 442, it's time to establish the truth behind that story. Someone once told me that, if he had intended to hit Beckham with that boot, Sir Alex's left foot must be real quality. Join Sun Vegas, get a free £10 bonus with 100s of games to play, and no deposit required, TSNCS apply, I was there in the dressing room that day, and, let's put things right, it was not a good shot, because the boot first hit a table, and only after went in Beckham's direction. Sir Alex, I'm sorry but your left foot was not as good as you think. Beckham's teammates reportedly had to hold him back after he was struck. But Queres doesn't think his boss meant to hurt the number seven. However, Beckham was sold to Real Madrid at the end of that season for pounds 30 million. Some of that cash was spent on Cristiano Ronaldo and the rest is history. Speaking about the incident in his 2003 autobiography, Ferguson said, the next day the story was in the press. And public analysis band highlighted the damage inflicted by the boot. It was in those days that I told the board David had to go. One half read our football news live blog for the very latest rumors, gossip and done deals my message would have been familiar to board members who knew me. The minute a Manchester United player thought he was bigger than the manager, he had to go. I used to say, the moment the manager loses